welcome to Good News Week. Oh, hang on a second, that's not quite right, is it? That's the little show that I do every Friday night at 8 o'clock. Sorry about that. Little bit of self-promotion there. Tonight, of course, is the 1997 ARIA Awards, and it's got nothing to do with self-promotion. It's got nothing to do with egos. It's all about music. The arias are about expressing yourself through song, making the best music that you can possibly make. But more importantly, they're about winning, 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 and knowing that someone else out there is losing, losing, losing. Tonight is the night that the cream of the Australian music industry goes off, mate. For the next seven and a half hours, the finest recording talent in the country will pat themselves on the back while bending over backwards to piss in each other's pockets. It's like yoga for the incontinent. This year's Aria sees the introduction of several new categories. These include best use of the F word to gain airplay on Triple J, nastiest social disease caught by a drummer, and most inappropriate use of an Aria at the after show party. Is Tex Perkins in tonight? And what about this set, ladies and gentlemen? Let's hear it! It's a bit like chariots of the gods. Who built these? And more importantly, why? The bad news uh, is that these are the actual awards behind me. There was a bit of confusion over feet and centimetres. Can't wait to watch Savage Garden carry three or four of these babies home. And they got 13 nominations tonight, and there are only 12 awards. <laughs> it's been a big, mu uh, big, big week in music this week. The Spice Girls movie is almost finished, with the working title of Five. They say they want the film to be a spinal tap for the 90s, but I mean, how can that be? Spinal tap was a complete fabrication, and the Spice Girls... <laughs> I reckon, though, I reckon... I reckon it'll be a bit more like the Monkeys film, but I suppose they can't call it a head. <laughs> Oasis, of course, continue to break records all over the world with their third album, Be Here Now. Noel and Liam originally wanted to call it, You're in for a right bollocking, you sodding bastard! But they decided it wasn't Beatlesque enough. Noel's fondness for lager resulted in a song on the album called My Big Mouth, but another track entitled My Burnt Out Nasal Passages which dealt with one of Liam's loves, surprisingly, didn't make it. And in California, Michael Jackson has put his Neverland Ranch on the market. Suit first, fun park buyer or weirdo. Close to schools, great for kids, several already, hiding in the bushes. <laughs> Neverland also has a security llama that goes off whenever it's penetrated. And... Thank you. And a special machine in the bathroom that blows bubbles. <laughs> Michael Jackson, Oasis and the Spice Girls, all big, big international acts. But we haven't heard anything yet about the Australian acts. It's a bit like listening to commercial radio. Welcome to the 11th Annual ARIA Awards, the Night of Nights for Australian Music, and to present... Did you know that, uh, did you know that after the gold and platinum records, did you know, did you know, did you know, did you know that after the gold and platinum records, the industry is thinking of introducing the uranium record? It's for songs everyone here hates, but that still manage to sell well overseas. <laughs> Go wild. Feel free. Uh, a quick announcement here. The Prime Minister, John Howard, has called to say he won't be able to make it tonight. Uh, but he's not sorry, as usual. <laughs> no apologies. No apologies. <laughs> Welcome back.
And what about this lot down there, eh? Oh! I tell you what, beautiful work during the Tina Arena number there. Kids moshing away. I don't know when they were going crazy for silver chair before. It was a bit like... It was a bit like watching the balls in a lotto draw, you know? We should put numbers on their backs and suck six of them out through a tube. Or get the Hell's Angels in. I mean, it's like the, the Altamont daycare centre down there. <laughs> you have no idea. Now, uh, before we go on, we have a lost child announcement. Uh, the drummer from Hanson <laughs> has become separated from his parents and if no one comes to collect him very shortly, I'm going to cut off those bloody stupid plaques and send him back to school where he belongs. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've had reports that there's some bad acid going around the audience. Uh, so whatever you do, people, please, please don't take the brown acid. If it's offered to you, bring it up here immediately. Especially you lizards. <laughs> Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Just a word of warning. If you are going round to Savage Gardens House later on in the evening, just be careful where you sit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're keeping all the scalpers here tonight behind me so they can see what it feels like when people get the good seats. And right up the very back there are the commercial radio programmers. As far for removed from what's happening as humanly possible. No, I, I think I'm right. I think it should have, you know, he shouldn't have done candle in the wind. That's all I'm saying. It shouldn't have been candle in the wind, you know. What, what should he have done, mate? You know, I mean, it was a big occasion. What, crocodile rock? Crocodile rock oh. would have got him up singing, dancing, happy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, it would have been good. What about funeral for a friend? What, what do you oh, mean? it would have been beautiful. Or song for die. Yeah, I suppose so. But he couldn't have really done I'm Still Standing. No, no. no that's true. <laughs> so you've been having a, uh... Oh. Uh, settle down... Settle down, people. You've been having a good night? I've been having a good night, mate. I, I have had shorter relationships in these awards, but no, I've had a good night. And uh, been up to a few things. Yeah, anything in particular? Well, I think we should have a bit of a pervy pill at them right now, Paul, my friend. Yeah, that was very nice. Uh, time to go home now. Uh, I've got to get up very early to do a radio show on Triple J. With Mr. Mikey Robbins, that's every Monday to Friday, 6 till 9. But tonight's not about self-promotion. <laughs> Remember, if you are driving home tonight, take care. Watch out for the paparazzi. Unless, of course, you want to become a rock legend. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night.